Dillon Bay, Colorado is pretty sweet. Good morning, my awesome YouTubers. Welcome back to the channel. This is Adventure Outline. I'm Rick, and I'm super pumped to have you. In today's vlog, it's a little different um, because we are actually staying at a hotel. Um, if you've been following our, our Colorado series, um, you know we've been on the road for about six days now. No, actually seven days now. And so... Uh, we decided uh, to stop and grab a hotel. So we are in, where the heck are we? I can't remember where we're at right now. Bend, Colorado? No, I don't know. So we're here staying at a hotel, but right now guys, I'm actually gonna go hit the lake because there's a, it's actually not a lake, it's a reservoir, but it's huge. And I'm gonna go get on that with the kayak, have some great time out there. That's my plan, and I'm taking you guys with me. All right, let's get on it. All right, guys, so I parked right here. I'm actually not too far away from my hotel. It's actually just across the street. Um, but I'm looking for a place to launch the kayak. So I did see a couple other dudes unloading their kayaks, getting ready to launch right here. So the water still kind of looks a little far away because, you know, Carrying a kayak gets old pretty quick, so uh, I'm going to hop out the truck and see if this is a good place to launch. Alright guys, so I found a spot where we can launch. Still going to suck to take the kayak all the way down here and back up, but I don't think there's nothing we can do really, really do about it. Got this path that the parking lot's right up there where that building's at. Take this path all the way down. It's pretty flat, leads all the way down to the sand right here. Where this log is and where this um, boat parking thing is whatever that thing's called sorry for all you boat people i don't want to offend you guys but uh, i think it's a great place to launch um, also this is a good uh, indicator of where i launched from because when you're in a big lake like this it can be difficult to figure out where you launched from so you can get back to your your vehicle so we're gonna launch from right here guys so i'm gonna start walking back man when you're at nine thousand feet of elevation. It sucks to walk without a kayak. But we're gonna do this. <laughs> so, lake is looking beautiful, looking fresh. We're gonna send it. All right, truck's all packed up. Now the fun part, carrying that thing all the way down there. This thing's not that heavy. But when you gotta carry it pretty far away, it gets pretty heavy. Oh, we're going down the stairs. Yep, it's getting heavy. It's funny, this is hard, but going down is the easy part. And when you drop stuff like that, that just sucks. Whew. Oh man, that was tough. But we're here guys, got the kayak, kayak. I'm gonna suit up, which means I'm just gonna put my vest on, jump in the water.
got to the shore here. Um, um, this, so I came from like around this bend and way on the other side, way over there. I've been kayaking for, I don't know, probably an hour and a half or so. Um, it's been awesome out here. The water's super, super calm. So really, really awesome. But um, I found this little cove here. And uh, as I was coming around this bend and I was just like, I'm going to stop there, stretch my legs because sitting in the kayak is actually not too bad. It's actually fairly comfortable. But, you know, after an hour and a half, you got to stretch. So decided to, to land here on this beach and um, just stretch a little bit uh, for a couple minutes. And uh, while I was stretching, chilling out, I like I looked over here. And it has like this sheriff's police line around this thing. Now most people would probably look at that and go, I should get back in my kayak and get on the water because this seems kind of sketchy. Not me. Is this? Sheriff police line. I don't know. Seems pretty sketchy. Bunch of colorful rocks and stuff. I don't know. Maybe some hippies were living out here. I don't know. Seems kind of sketchy. But uh, yeah, got a police line right here. It says, Sheriff, line do not cross. So I ain't going to cross it. I'm good. Uh, right up there, you guys, is the, the main road that leads around the lake. So it's just up maybe about... 40, 50 feet up that way. So, anyways, super sketchy, but whatever. It's a nice beach, though, yeah? A little campfire right here? I would totally camp here. You know, maybe if the police line thing wasn't here, but I don't think you can, but I'm just saying if you did, can't imagine anyone's going to bother you. It's been great out here, but uh, the only bummer is, you guys, is it's super hazy. And I know I already said that, but, like, it's just bad. It's not clearing up at all. So <clears throat> I'm assuming it's from some fires and stuff. There's a lot of fires going on right now in, on the west, uh, western United States. So, um, but, uh, so it's kind of a bummer. Um, but, uh, you know. It's so beautiful to be out on the lake. I mean, these trees are incredible. It's uh, September right now, and so uh, the trees are turning color for fall, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. So, yeah. So I'm gonna hop back on the kayak right now, you guys, and um, just uh, go around the lake a little bit more. I, I plan on spending most of the day on the lake, so um, that's what I'm gonna do. truck Whew. carrying that kayak was rough but I did it there's a beautiful lake we've been on all day been out there for 320 I got out there at I think around 11 a.m. so whew. so uh, that's my hotel right there guys or is it right there um, so I'm gonna head back up oh, this guy mowing his lawn right now it's been great out here you guys it's been beautiful so i'm gonna head back to the room right now good morning everybody what's going on 
Man, I got a sick sunglasses tan, yeah? From kayaking yesterday. Anyways, guys, we are about to leave our hotel. We've been here for two days. And, uh, you know, I'm definitely ready to get back into the great outdoors. So we're going to be heading to our next camp spot. Uh, we're going to stop real quick at the store to grab some supplies uh, because we're running low. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to be heading to our next camping spot in Colorado. Don't know exactly where that's going to be yet. We have an idea. But you guys will have to wait to see where we end up until the next video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, don't forget to kick that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time right here on Adventure Outline. Peace.